if you're going to be a great marketer and businessman. You got to have fun. No one wants to deal with a guy who's a stick in the mud and is a boring motherfucker. People want to be entertained these days. This is Hollywood. This town was built on entertaining. This is what this whole thing's about. I am a Big Mike. I'm the owner of Advanced Nutrients, the CEO. Advanced Nutrients, we manufacture the number one marijuana fertilizer in the world. We are the most profitable company in cannabis right now. Cannabis is freaking huge. Globally, it is a multi-trillion dollar business. Today, if you're a business, you have to have a strong social media presence. If you don't have that, you're gonna get run over like a freight train. What you see there is part of my lifestyle. Neighbors here in the Hollywood Hills likely to be happy that the party tomorrow here at the marijuana mansion is canceled. I took a million dollar hit today. It's not the, uh, the first time in my life that I've lost like that before. And every time it's ever happened, I've only come back stronger and uh, been more successful. His last party here in August drew hundreds of people that neighbors tell us was a big problem out here. It went all night, went till three in the morning, and the next morning wake up, there was probably 400 pounds of trash strewn across the street. My neighbors are being used as scapegoats by high-ranking officials in the city of Los Angeles. Three days before the event, they said, we're not going to give you your, your permits. A senseless decision that was made by a Los Angeles councilman. And so I said, we just need to, to do the right thing and sue these guys. The issue is the word marijuana and these archaic mindset that people have. By 2020, it's gonna be bigger than the NFL. By 2030, it's gonna be bigger than corn, wheat, and soybean combined. It's gonna be bigger than beer by 2030. It was interesting, in one of the um, articles, you were referred to as the Great Gatsby of ganja. Yeah, I don't look at myself like that. Because that whole movie was, you know, built on a farce. What I do is real. Yeah, I built an empire when I was growing illegally. And I watched the police dismantle it piece by piece. And I realized I better do something that they can't take away from me. I've been growing for 33 years. I started when I was 23 years old. I've had advanced nutrients for 17 years, and we have a very, very big research department, and we've had it for the last 11 years. That has given us an enormous leg up on all of our competitors. I had a friend who used to grow, and I used to get like $1,000 more per pound than he did. And he would always get mad at me. He goes, it's just a weed. I go, no, it's not. It's a plant that needs to be nurtured and cared for. It does make a difference who grows it. And I have 53 in industry first. If you grow or consume marijuana, you absolutely have benefited from something that I have done. I brought so many things to this industry. The future of cannabis is going to be a recumbent product. This is THCA, this is the acid form. This is what would be called a recombinant product. Patients want outcomes. They do not care about strain names. They want better health, they want pain relief, they want better sleep. So let me explain what that is. First of all, the pothead is dead. We are literally wired for weed. Our body has what's called CB1 and CB2 receptors, but it is our endocannabinoid system.
I want you to imagine yourself in a 747 airplane, you're flying along in those four big, beautiful Rolls-Royce engines. Those are your cannabinoids. THC is one of 115 different cannabinoids. That's powering the plane. Then I want you to think of the flight control system and how that plane moves around. Those are terpenes. If you know your cannabinoid and terpene profile, you know exactly what strain to go to every time. But in the future, I predict 70% of all Americans within the next 20 years will be using cannabis in some form. And I'm not even talking about the industrial or textile uses of it. It's science. This is real science. It's not some kind of bullshit hippie magic. This is the real deal. I like to know the truth and how things work and why they work. So let's talk about CBD and opiates. This is a big deal. The difference between CBD and THC is CBD is non-psychoactive. THC can be non-psychoactive or psychoactive. We found that CBD helps people in a lot of different ways. The president of my company just recently had ankle surgery and they gave him Oxycontin. Two and a half hours of relief he has. I went and gave him a one-to-one -one ratio of CBD THC. Eight hours of pain relief. About 40% of all opiate sales are gonna go right down the toilet because of CBD and THC. And Big Mike claims to have evidence of being bullied by the city and he did not produce any of that evidence saying that that will come in the appropriate time when they do go to court. I will not be bullied by uninformed outsiders or by authorities with political agendas. I am therefore announcing the creation of a new nonprofit. The Cannabis Freedom Fund's mission will be to find, develop, and install pro-cannabis candidates at all levels of government so we can unseat those ideologies that have come and gone while respecting the people's voice. Thank you very much for your time. And we're gonna sue the city of Los Angeles and we're gonna be successful because I have the upper hand. They don't think so, but I do. And the reason I can say that with absolute confidence is because I, I know that this councilman will be here for two years and I'll be funding his opponent. It'll be like one punch, it's gonna be done. And that will be discussed at a different time, it'll be a different press conference. The largest, most valuable space is the cannabis space and is being created right now. And they need to respect that. It's just old ideology. I mean, I get it, right? They've been brainwashed over all those years. Well, well now we need to educate. It's not a demon weed. It's real medicine. You hear marijuana, they've been so conditioned over the last 40 to 50 years that it's the devil's drug that they automatically revert back to that rather than actually reading the stuff that's out there and, and actually learning. I came here for a certain reason, and that is because it's the epicenter of media and marijuana, and this space is growing so fast, I realized that Hollywood has the biggest microphone, and you should be using that microphone to get your message out. That's simple.